Hello again, let's do more business news. Ghana stands a chance of making millions from its salt extractive industry if it puts in place the right policies to boost production. That's coming from coordinator of the Fed World Network, Dr. Yao Graham. Dr. Graham explained that if small scale and artisanal miners are given the chance, the nation would produce 10 times the current level of production. He spoke to Joy Business ahead of the Conference for Artisanal and Small-Scale Miners Policy in Accra. Because at the moment, what we have is really that our mineral policy institutions were devised primarily to support large-scale mining. And small-scale mining has been, you know, slapped to the back of it. If you look at a country like India, they have a salt a, a kind of an institution in charge of salt, linked with research labs and so on. And uh, India produces more than 20 million uh, tons of salt a year. And a very large part of this, you know, 80, almost 88% of the operators in the sector are small scale operators, and they produce 20 million tons. So there are lessons to be learned from other places. That in, in respect of some minerals, labor intensive methods actually may be better than large-scale uh, methods. And around the Qatar Lagoon in particular, some of the conflicts have been generated by this, we think, uh, relative inattention to, to it. And the Songo Lagoon, uh, they are, the, the lagoon is dying because of uh, policy inaction. And we think that we want to bring those issues to the table so that there can be a dialogue, you know, uh, policymakers and, and, and operators in, in the field so that we can find a way forward. To other stories now, as part of the Joy Business's health and wellness trade show slated for May 30 to June 1, we have introduced a special segment which will seek to encourage workers to take their health seriously. The corporate health and wellness series would feature different companies and workers in a quest to promote good health among employees in the run-up to the main event at the end of the month. To kick out start the series, Sarah Dosu went and on a hangout with some staff of Carl Bang head of his branch and has filed this report. Nothing compares to a company that tries to figure out the right solution to combat rising health issues and healthcare costs and implement wellness programs for success. Owing to this, Cow Bank has provided a state-of-the-art gymnasium at their head office to enable staff keep healthy. The chief operating officer of Cow Bank, Charles Amois, urged employers to put measures in place in order to promote the well-being of their employees. I will say the organization should encourage their staff to exercise uh, where the organization has the, the funding. They should put up a structure like this so that their staff can have the time to exercise and improve upon their health. If where they can put it up, they should motivate them to go for Saturday work, organize uh, uh, communal work and help their staff to exercise so that their health can be improved. Paul, Ben, Michael and Ben. Yes, there were two Bens, are all employees of Cowbank who made good use of the gym. They told the CEO of Nova Wellness Centre and resource person for the Joy Business Health and Wellness Series, Dr. Nashley Dodo and I, what motivates them and offered some advice to other working individuals. It's refreshing to okay. leave the office decks and then come to the gym and try and work out and take away the stress. Once I'm done, I get home, I'm good to sleep. Excellent. Um, and I work up. The next day refresh and I'm back to job and then I continue my work. So it's it's really fun to be right. here after work and then work out. Sometimes people also worry that working out can cause um, problems like heart attacks and things like that. But what would you say? Have you noticed any difference since you've been doing this? Yeah, from the onset, I was having my BP was very high, so I was told I have to come for training. So okay. I stick to it and all of, all of a sudden it has reduced drastically. So your blood pressure has dropped yes. from working out. Wow, that's excellent. That's wonderful. So um, are you taking less medication now since the pressure has dropped? Because I've, I used to take it daily. Okay. But now sometimes three, four days before I take it. Wow. Because the time I check, it is within it's within the so Okay. You tell us. Um, working out, what does it do for you generally? Somebody who has never worked out before and is, is listening to you now, what type of advice can you give them? Okay, 
it's a good exercise. Working out is a good exercise. And moreover, too, as you do it, said by my other colleagues, you always fit. And with the fitness and ease of stress, you are always refreshed for the other day's okay. business. And it always affects the business productivity positively. Okay, okay. Tell me why at this time of the night when you should be getting ready to go to bed, you're here lifting some weights. Well, basically, I do this because I want to lose some weight health-wise. Okay. And also to be able to stay fit. In a line of work, you need a lot of stamina throughout the day. Before, one, before I started exercising, I used to get tired a lot doing little things. Okay. But I can go throughout the day without getting tired. Just thanks to exercising daily. I do like three times a week. So those things I'm it helps me. It also helps to condition my heart so I, I don't become prone to heart disease. That's excellent. And Interesting stuff at Carl Bank and remember the health and wellness trade show will come your way on the 30th to June 1, 2019. To the commodity market now and crude oil opened the week with a 71 cent loss to trade at $69.91 a barrel gold. However, made a significant gain to open the week at $1,299.64 an ounce. Let's head to the commodity market now. for your time this evening. My name is Sandra Essenam Afan. You can get more news on myjawonline.com for slash business. Gary Al Smith is next with Sports News.